Hello, everybody. KG here, founder of the Internet Money Wallet. And today I'm bringing you another quick and easy tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bridge in and out of Pulse Chain from Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, going either direction. For this video, I will be using our Chrome extension, but this is the exact same process whether you are using our Chrome app. Android or iOS apps. Let's jump right into it. Got my own keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me. To accomplish this, we are going to be using a website called Tokens Express. Now, this website is still built on top of the main Pulse Chain Bridge. And if you want to verify that this is a legitimate website, you can head to the main Pulse Chain Bridge website, which is bridge.pulsechain.com. Scroll to the bottom where it says Community Sites, and you can see Token Express is right here at the bottom. In this video, I'm going to be bridging ETH from Ethereum into Wrapped ETH on Pulse Chain. This tutorial will work with any asset that you're bridging in and out of Pulse Chain. So follow these steps for whatever asset you're trying to bridge in or out. Step one is to connect your internet money wallet to the bridge website. If you're on Chrome, one thing you wanna make sure of is that your internet money wallet is expanded into its own Chrome tab. On Android and iOS, just make sure your internet money wallet is opened and unlocked. I'll start by clicking my internet money wallet. And you can see in this wallet, I already have in ETH balance. Next, let's head back to Token Express. Click on Connect Wallet. Click on Wallet Connect. Once you get this pop up, click on View All. And if Internet Money Wallet isn't here on the first page for you, go up to the search bar, type in Internet or Internet Money, and it should populate for you. Click on it, which will then prompt open your Internet Money Wallet. If you have several tabs open, it may prompt open a random tab. So just make sure that you click back to your internet money tab here. Select the account that you want to connect to Token Express by clicking on the account and opening up the account selection screen here. Click on connect, which will prompt you back to Token Express. And if you go back to your wallet, you will see that you have been successfully connected. Click OK. Now let's head back to Token Express. Next, we're actually going to initiate the bridge transaction. So what I'm going to do here, now that I'm connected, is select the asset that I want to bridge into Pulse Chain, which you can see that my ETH balance was automatically detected. If your balance of whatever coin or token is not automatically detected, you can search by name or address in the search bar here. So I'm going to click on ETH, and I'm only going to do half of my balance for this video because I want to save a little bit for gas. So I will do, say, 0.03, which will give me 0.03 wrapped ETH on Pulse Chain. Click to review bridge transaction, and we'll click on begin transfer which is going to prompt open my internet money wallet and I will view the request. And you can see that account one is doing a transaction with Tokens Express. If you'd like, you can edit your gas fee here. Click to send to Token Express. And my transaction has been submitted. So click OK. And on the internet money wallet side, you can head back to the home screen, click on your transactions, click on the transaction, and you can see that my transaction has been submitted. So we can head back to Token Express and you will see that it is waiting for block finalization and it is validating my transfer. Now this process, when it operates as quick as possible, is usually about 20 to 30 minutes, but it can take longer depending on market conditions within the Pulse Chain ecosystem. It's best to make sure that this tab remains open, whether on your mobile or desktop. But if for whatever reason this tab closes, don't worry, I'll actually show you 
how to finish the bridge transaction in the event that you lose this tab during this process. Now that my transfer is completed, you can see that this is now asking me to click it. So we're going to click on transfer completed, which we can then go back to our internet money wallet, switch over to pulse chain by clicking on networks in the top left, clicking on pulse chain. Yes, we would like to switch. Click back on my wallet. Click on my account. Click on add token. And you can see we can search for E wrapped ETH in this case. Click on the plus sign. And you can see that the 0.03 ETH has hit my account. If you're wanting to go back to Ethereum from Pulse Chain, it's the exact same process. The only difference is when the bridge is complete, there will be one additional transaction on the Ethereum side that you will have to sign. So instead of saying transfer completed, you will actually have to click that button, which will then prompt open your internet money wallet one final time to sign that additional transaction on Ethereum in order to claim your funds. On Pulse Chain, it auto claims the bridged assets for you. But on Ethereum, you do have to pay gas in order to claim those assets. The final thing that we'll cover in this video is if you happen to close your tab, lose access to the website, your wallet gets disconnected, whatever the situation may be, you've closed the bridge in the middle of the process. All you have to do is connect your wallet again, just like we did earlier in the video. And once your wallet is connected, set up the bridge in the same way that you did the first time. So I went from Ethereum to Pulse Chain. You don't have to actually select the same tokens. You just need to make sure that the same network direction is selected. Click on Bridge Explorer, and then you can see your bridge transactions here. So since I've already completed it, mine shows as completed, but if it was not completed or some action was required, like you have assets to claim, then you can continue on the bridge process from this section here. Even if you were using the main Pulse Chain bridge site, you can see your bridge transactions that are in process right here. That's it for this video. It really is that simple. Now again, if your bridge is taking longer than expected, I will leave a link down in the description below where you can actually check on the status of your bridge to see if there's a holdup with the Pulse Chain bridge. A major shout out to our community member, Poseidon, who built this tool. It's a great one for the community. If you ever have any questions, please join our Telegram community, and you can find that link by navigating to internetmoney.io and clicking join community in the top right. Only communicate in that channel. Don't respond to any direct messages. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, that subscribe button, follow us on socials, because with your support, we can continue to grow, and we will constantly post new educational videos and updates to help you along your crypto journey. Thank you for being a part of the Internet Money community. My name is KG, founder of the Internet Money Wallet, and until next time, peace. Got my own keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me.